before I start this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to these five people because they were the first five people to comment in my previous video. And I used to pin the first person who commented, but then it just became a little hard because a few people were just like two or three seconds apart from each other and I felt kind of bad. So I thought this was the best compromise. And let's get started. So the outfits that are going to work for this competition, there are only a few that you can use, but none of them really have a good chance of getting the top 1% except for Cute Strawberry. And for Cutie Strawberry, that one is a little tough to get since to get that you have to actually get a VIP 8. And that's a little crazy because I spent close to $100 and I'm only like V6. So if you want to be V8, you have to spend more than $100 in this game to get this. And I'm actually really surprised how many people got this since like the entire top 20 is there and it's just like littered throughout the entire competition. So this competition seems to favor the VIP 8 and above people a little more. And even though you can get this from a drop, like honestly, it's probably like 0.0001% drop. They even say it's low rate. And for the clothes that aren't even low rate, they're really hard to get. So imagine it's like low rate. You can try your luck with Cake Manor where you can only get it from the achievements. So it looks like this one. I'm just wearing it. Cake Manor. Another one you can use is the fondant game outfit. So it's the one we have right now. Since that, it seems that all the pink dresses are the hype for a cupcake. And I, I, yeah, it makes sense because it's sweet, it's cute, you think of pink and stuff. The last one you can actually attempt to use is the candy doll outfit, which you can get from chapter 9. We can just bring it up over here. So it looks like this, and you can get all of this from chapter 9. And even the unevolved forms of it are pretty cute, and I can just show you after real quick. Other than these specific outfits, you can just mix and match with anything you have that seems to fit the theme. And a tip for that is to actually just go to your here, <laughs> your search, and search cake. So that's number one. You can see what type of cake stuff you have. Then number two, you can search candy. And you can look at here, which is really nice because it's all pink and candy. And last one, you can search is sugar, which might be a little less um, rewarding since I don't... Or, since there's not much sugar stuff you could use besides the shoe. Let's go to the hair. Just like the dress, the hair is most likely going to do well if you do pink, but that doesn't mean you should just sit settle with Nikki's default hair. It just means that you should be using Fruit Jam, so this one from Cake Manor, Admiration, which is, let's see if I can find it real quick, right here. And it is from the outfit you get on your first recharge, if I have not mistaken. Yeah, it's Winter Angel. Another one you can use is Color Phantom from Melody Hell Event. I can't really find it right now, so I'm just going to search. And it looks like this. And another one you can use is this one, which was from the Unicorn Recharge set. Let me go find it real quick. This one. So these are the pink hairs you can use. But if you don't have any pink hairs, don't worry about it because you can also use brown hair. I know I have a blonde hair on right now, but I was just trying some stuff up and it was alright. Like another blonde hair you can go for is Liliana, which is this one or that one, or the actual like epic one which I haven't made yet. Brown hair that works is from Cutie Strawberry, which is from the VIP Privilege Pack, which looks like this. And I actually really like it. I think it's really soft and cute. But again, we can't get it since it's VIP 8 and a lot of people I know aren't VIP 8. The other brown hair that seems to work well for this theme is from Fondant Game. And we can just search it up right here. And it looks like this. So it's either Magic Doll if you have it. But if you don't, don't worry because Doll Girl also works. Let's go to the dress. So these aren't in particular order or actually I'll just tell you if they're going to do well. This dress is like the last case scenario if you don't have any pink dress and you can just get a dress right here right now and it's really easy to. It's called Sakura Sweets and it fits the theme for some reason even though it's a flower but it's pink so people don't care. And the dress that does the best is, you guessed it, it's the one from the VIP Privilege Pack for Cutie Strawberry and it actually really fits the cake. Like I said fits the cake but I meant fits the theme. And I can't blame them because it legit looks like a cake and the theme is cupcake. So what do you do if you don't have that? Well, your best hope is that you have at least cake um, manner from the achievements. And if you don't have that, well, you can use the Sakura Sweets from the Fondant game. And if you don't have that either, well, you can just try making something with cake. So again, we can just search cake. You should have one dress at least, which is Cake Manor. And if you don't, sorry, we should have just searched for sugar. I mean, <laughs> candy. 
So there's Candy Doll or Candy Doll Rare. And Candy Doll Rare is because you have candies on the bottom of her dress. This dress can at least get you the top 20%, so at least you can look forward to that. As for the coat, I've seen people use the Sweet Pastry Coke apron. And did I say Coke? I meant Cook apron. And you can get it from here. It's called Delicious Pastry. You can get it. It's 118 diamonds, but it's not really worth it unless you want to complete the suit. And as my viewers have heard a million times before, why would you spend over 100 diamonds to only gain back a maximum of 25 diamonds? But that's only in the case where you're participating in the competition to get diamond rewards like me. The only other quote-unquote coat I've seen people use is called Beyond Magic, and you could have only gotten that from the last node of the Hell event that we just got. It was like from the Melody one. It's called Magic Beyond, and it doesn't really work well with this outfit in particular, but it does work well with the cute like the cupcake one, or not the cupcake one, the VIP privilege pack uh, dress one. So for the hosiery, people have actually kept it simple for this game, and they have gone sockless, but there are still quite a few entries with socks, and the socks are from the VIP privilege one called Cake Cookie. There's the fairy tale epic from Red Hood Adventure. I don't have that one, but it looks like, it's just like pink and white stripes. Let's hope I can find it like really quick. It's right here. And this is how it looks like. It's an evolution type of suit. And if you're down to have like do that or you're already on your way, then you might as well do it. And if you don't have that, don't worry. Just go sockless or go with something sheer. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. I spent like three videos trying to look for this word and I finally said it out loud right now. And yeah, so that's what you would do for the hosiery. You can also try getting fondant lace pink, which is actually not from the fondant game, but it's from the store, which you can get here. It's only 11,000 coins, so it's very affordable, and you can use it if you want to fit something with your outfit. For shoes, it's actually just any shoes that matches. Like, there's this one, there's Sweet Honey, which everybody pro probably has. You can get, like... A bunch of brown white and some pinks and red shoes it's just whatever that fits the outfit and whatever you can make work as for the makeup it's for those of you who bought the recharge set for the sweet superstar and then you got that cute winking thing so it looks like this and if you don't have that don't worry about it because you can still use peachy kiss from sly angel if you have that but if you don't have that and you're not planning to finish this outfit then don't do it because it's not worth it since it costs a lot of diamonds let's just take a look over here it's this one. It's 106 diamonds. Up to you if you want to do it. I personally won't get it because I already have Sweet Superstar and it looks really similar to this. Another one you can use is Cute Sweetheart from the Free Sunshine outfit that we used to got. It was this one. Cute Sweetheart. And if you don't have one, just go for any soft look. It's not the end of the world if you don't have it because I've seen people do well with Fairy Tale Cutie. I've seen people do well with even a crying makeup for some reason. But it just like make it soft, make it cute, and it fits the theme. As for the head, it can be a pile of cakes, which I have right now. It can be a pastry cap, which you can buy from the store. Or you can get any sweet that when you search candy. So for example, I search candy, and I have the candy hairpin. I have this one, and I'm pretty sure there's like another one you can get, like this one, I guess. You can just get that from chapter 9. As for the handheld, it's either it's either Sweet Time from this cute sweet heart, which is the free suit that we had. It's the honey thing I have on the back of my hand. It's called let's just just make sure it's called Sweet Time. Sweet Time, yeah, it's called Sweet Time. Or you can just hold a candy. So candy here, you can hold a candy or a lollipop. But I just don't have that evolved at the moment because if you evolved a few of these ones, you can get like a big lollipop. As for the background, I actually never thought this would be used, but people are using Memorial Day, which is the balloons we have in the back. We also have Eternal Flower Rain from Sweet Fondant, so it looks like this. You can use it if you don't have anything else, but I'd recommend Swinging Bear if you have it, since it's a foreground and a lot of people are finding success with it right now. I also suggest you can use Perfect Picnic because, well, it's the one I have on the ground right now, because there's like some chipmunks in the back eating, if you can see that. It's behind shoes, and it's really cute. So anything that fits the theme, again, for this, it's up to your own discretion or your own preferences. And I just hope that you guys can get at least top 20% with this because it was really hard to pinpoint specific items for this competition, especially for players less than V8 like me. 
but I hope that this guide was helpful. Just keep resubmitting during high traffic times when you get free stamina like at 12 or 19 slash 7 o'clock server time and hope for the best. So please like, comment, and sub if you like my stuff. And thank you for watching.